A great deal has changed since YPO's founding 60 years ago, but certain things have remained the same. The value of a peer network and trusted mentors, the importance of ongoing education, and the need for a safe haven where issues can be aired in an environment of confidentiality. There are two requirements for membership in YPO. One is that you be a president. The other is that you be young. Tonight, we salute Jim Collette, who is a president, but at the advanced age of 49, is indisputably no longer young. Well, it's been nice to see Jim be able to leverage his management abilities in a bunch of different industries. And I think he really does have true leadership capabilities. When given a task, he's about as dedicated a person as I know to getting it accomplished. I think it'd be fun to work for Jim. He's very patient. Uh, he's very kind. I think Jim would be a great boss to work for. He's a good guy that I've known for quite some time. He's uh, also a very hard, tough-nosed businessman, so you don't want to get on his, his wrong side. He's an extremely fair person. He's a great communi communicator. And he truly is a servant leader. This is a guy who leads by example. Yeah, Jim's an SMU graduate like me. Uh, I came, I came quite a bit after Jim, but yeah, we both, uh, we're both proud to say we're SMU alums. Jim and I went to SMU at the same time. He was a Fiji at SMU and met his wife Libby there. Libby and the kids are always on his mind, and when we're uh, when we're speaking it for him, he is always conscious of the decisions that he makes when it comes to business and how that's going to affect them. Well, you know, one thing that's great about Jim is the fact that he's got such a loving wife in Libby, and you can see how that translates into everything that he does. He's a great father. He's a great husband. Jim has been a longtime neighbor of mine, so I get to see firsthand what a kind and patient father and husband he is. I uh, love watching him with Jack and Will and uh, he has a lot of fun with him. Very good dad. Great thing about Jim is the fact that he leads by example. Um, he's done that in the chapter and all the way through the international board and really just has you know, created a passion for YPO that, that's caught on for me personally um, and I continue to do that and I see that in everything that he does. Jim is a very good mentor uh, both inside and outside of YPO. Big legacy in our chapter uh, from Jim running YPO and being involved as he has uh, sets a high bar for everybody else. Jim's accomplishments in YPO are uh, incredible and it is a member-led organization and it's because of people like Jim who are willing to commit so much time that this organi organization is so great. I can't imagine an office in YPO that he has not held. Uh, he's not the international chairman and that's probably about it, but it's not because he wasn't asked. He's done a lot for YPO International, he's been great for our chapter, but I think that he made the wise decision not to be the chairman. Jim, we wish you all the best. It's been a great time having you in the uh, Shadow Forum. You've been a great leader to the forum and a great leader to our chapter, and I look forward to keeping in close contact with you and wish you all the best. Jim, uh, really enjoy having you as a neighbor and having you in YPO with us. Good luck uh, now that you're officially old. Jim, you know, it's with uh, sadness that I see you 49ing out. Um, you've been a great friend and a great mentor for me and really every aspect of my life. Uh, Jim, congratulations on your uh, achievement of status of leaving YPO and we look forward to you to join us older guys in WPO. Thank you. Jim, it's been a great six, seven years and I'll be graduating next year so we'll see you soon over in WPO. We are so sad to see you go. You've made such a great impact. Uh, on YPO uh, and the Shadow Forum, and for me personally, uh, uh, being that ear to listen to. I remember when I first joined the forum, being the first person to come in new to the group. You were always there. Uh, you're a great friend. I look forward to keeping up with you outside of YPO. Uh, and again, we're going to miss you greatly. See you, Jim. Well, turning 50 this year, as uh, 
this little endeavor uh, is all about, uh, I really look forward to a number of things. First of all, I still have uh, a lot of time and commitment to my career. I think there's a lot of things that have happened in the last couple of years which give me a tremendous amount of uh, engagement for the next few years. We're, uh, we're going to continue to be busy doing a lot of interesting things in the investment arena. And as far as my, my life in the future, my wife and I will continue to uh, have a lot of fun together as my kids grow up. I can't help but be excited about watching them grow up. And I think long range, I think I'll just be very excited and, and looking forward to having an opportunity to spend a lot of time with Libby and do a lot of things that we enjoy, traveling and just spending time together with perhaps a little bit less hectic pace than what we've been keeping up here in the last few years. So. Uh, this is an interesting time for me, moving from YPO to WPO, but I'm very much excited about the opportunity to continue to be involved in the organization, but more importantly is to go to the next phase of my life, which I'm looking forward to a lot. Uh, he clearly recognizes he married up. When Dawn Moore of 49 out, she left some pretty big high heels to fill and no one but Jim Collette had enough estrogen to fill those high heels and he has done a great job cooking and cleaning for us on our form retreats. It's hard to get the guy to drink more than two glasses of Chardonnay, I'm, I'm telling you. He, uh, he's, he's, just, he's just straight and narrow. Jim, I hope you get a cooking show someday, but you're gonna have to drink more than one glass of wine to do it. Most people know that Jim likes to run and stay fit and you can see Jim running probably any Saturday in uh, Park Cities. But what people may not know about Jim is he makes a mean risotto and likes white wine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so with, with YPO, Jim is certainly very knowledgeable in not only the local aspects, but also the international aspects. And with our forum, we really consider Jim to be the king of YPO. 